Okay, we re we are recording here with Clement. He's uh, doing the Wikifab project. It's a wiki infrastructure designed to help open source hardware development projects. Are you focusing on on hardware development projects that are open source only, or are you accepting anything on your platform? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, we are mainly uh, originally uh, focused on only open source and fully open source projects. Yeah. Uh, but we have been uh, listening to some uh, questions who have uh, uh, non-commercial, enfin, open source, but non under a non-commercial license, uh, which is uh -huh. uh, a good question because, um, in fact, non-commercial licenses are not uh, to us, a truly open source. Uh, in fact, Wikifab uh, aims to be uh, a catalog of tutorials to learn how to make anything, uh, mm -hmm. and so that the people can learn and make anything for themselves, and even if they want to sell it or to uh, get get uh, to start a new activity based on the on the project uh, they want to make, uh, it should be able to. So, uh, so any project, open or not. You're saying so any project, whether it's open or not, is okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. If, but you are. Like yeah. Yeah, but you are you are strict about as far as your own your own work is open source. You said the code will remain open source forever. That's your commitment. Promise not to pull a maker bot on us. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've heard the phrase. Um... <laughs> no, don't go maker bot on us. <laughs> okay. You know the story, right? <laughs> It, 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 the code is open source and it's going to stay open source forever. So. Okay, thank you. So, okay, so, 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 first question. So we've we've got our wiki. Maybe you can show me briefly the features of comparing a standard media wiki like Open Source Ecology side by side, and then going to Wikifab Wiki. Can we? So the easiest solution for us to start using it right now would be if we simply imported templates and began yeah. using them like okay so let's pull up wikifab okay uh, so i can i can maybe share my screen with you yeah. and show you the difference yeah why don't you why don't you do that go ahead so i mean basically yeah. the showcasing yeah. platform where we've got nice windows for all the different projects i mean isn't that something we can do just with standard templates in wikimedia no big deal right I mean, we don't have to get yeah. the entire Wikifab infrastructure. Yeah, it's definitely possible. So uh, Wikifab, um, th that's a Wikifab uh, site. So let me show you a little short introduction, introduce you to how it works. So it's basically, um, the first thing we've, we've developed is a search engine to look for a tutorial. So if you want to make something, you just start by looking for a category. Uh, so let's say you want to make something uh, which is, uh, in the electronic category, you can look also by difficulty uh, and by cost based on the, your budget. So when you pick a, a project, you'll see um, always a picture of your project, the descriptions, the name of the author, uh, the difficulty, the duration, the cost, uh, and the license. And then you have a, a brief introduction of what the project is about, and then you have the tools and material list. Uh, and eventually some uh, files too to download, and then you have the step-by-step -step tutorials to learn how to make it. So and this is that's so how all the you. pages, all, all the tutorials that are made through the form will look like. Okay, through the form. So that's a template form. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, and then uh, I will. I need to log in to edit the form. Okay. Then if I click on edit. I won't uh, end up into a standard media wiki uh, edit page. I will end up on a Wikifab uh, tutor, uh, template for editing uh, tutorials. So we wanted to make it very easy to use and very intuitive uh -huh. and all that stuff because media wiki to us is a very, per very powerful uh, platform and we really love media wiki, but uh, even though they made lots of effort to have it uh, easier use it's still a bit complicated and all the page can be uh, made differently well yeah. when with wikifab you will follow this tutorial so you will choose a type a category a description everything every field is editable 
by anybody. Uh, anybody can make any change. Okay. So we just give you a little uh, information about what we mean by duration. Then you can edit the introduction, oh, wow. the list of chosen material. Who can be changed. Add file. You can either upload files on Wikifab or you can add a link to an external platform such as GitHub or Bitbucket. If you want to host your files somewhere else. And then you have the steps. So each steps will be made of one title, uh, one this uh, instructions. Yeah. Yeah. And then on the right you will have the images. Uh, you can have multiple images by by steps. And yeah. you can very easily drop new uh, pictures uh, on your file. Uh, if I show you, for example, uh, I can put it uh, just like that and just upload a new uh, file. Very nice. And then all the fields, uh, to edit them, you will find the uh, standard uh, MediaWiki text format in markups. So if you want to put text in bold and italic and blah, 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 you just have to get this code here and uh, copy past it, and then you will write some text in Italian. So all the wiki, uh, media wiki, text will be nice. And yeah. then on the right, we've developed uh, some uh, button to add a new step uh, between two steps. Uh -huh. One button to remove a step, and another button to move a step on top of another. Very nice. So we wouldn't want it to keep it as simple as that. Um, and then you can add some references and notes. If you want to add custom fields to that page, can you edit in the template or or in a standard way to, to edit, which is just the wiki editing? Um, if you want to add links, uh, to add fields, it's possible. Uh, you need to edit the templates. Uh, it's a bit more complicated, but will be documented, uh, documented it, uh, later. So it's, you have just... More... So for anything that you do on Wikifab, how many different templates do you have? You can make any number of wiki templates. Can you do a non-template, which is just the plain editing like in MediaWiki? Yes, definitely. If you want, when we have added this button here to create a tutorial, which will lead you to a place to start a new tutorial. So let's say I would like to start a tutorial called Test uh, Open Source Technology. Then I will find the uh, template, regular template, and the, the page that I will create it after I save the page will be a uh, uh, Wikifab template. But if I don't do that, if I, for example, write uh, something in the URL, then I will end up on the regular media wiki page. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I just need to say create, and I say... Oh, right. very nice. Okay. Like, okay. And then I can save it. Oh wow! Okay. All the media wiki uh, standard uh, functionality remains. Okay, very nice. Show me how you define a template, and show me the documentation where that is. Um, so the basically, uh, so that's that's basically how the site works. Yeah. Um, the all the source code is on GitHub. Okay. So basically, Wikifab is just an extension. Uh, I mean, it's a bunch of extension of uh, MediaWiki. Okay. That you can install. Uh, right now, uh, we haven't tried to install Wikifab on an existing MediaWiki instance, but it should work. Uh, so here we have uh, documents, all the tutorials to create a Wikifab instance from scratch. So you can just. You have two ways to install it. Either you do all the um, composer uh, step by step, or you can more easily, the easiest way is to uh, just download the package and just do these two uh, uh, quick steps. Okay. And then, if, if so say we install a new, new install of, of uh, your platform, can we import yeah. all our data from our old wiki? Um, uh, again, we haven't tried it this before, but it should be definitely possible. Um, if you go uh, to uh, to this page, that you also have, you will find also the same on your wiki, right? Right, special pages. Yep. So pages which is famous. So you can see uh, a page called. Uh, called uh, which page? Like, 
like uh, let me check. That's our our uh, special page too. And uh, database dump. If you look at what media wiki you have, like system, like version, yeah. So if you go to special slash version, you will see uh, the version of your wiki. And if you are using the last version of uh, media wiki, it will definitely work. So we are running a media wiki instance 1.27, which is the last one. And you are having the 1.24, so you probably need to upgrade. Uh, I really suggest that you upgrade because there are some security issues on this one. Uh, okay. But when you are on the latest version, you should be definitely able to install uh, Wikifab, the Wikifab template. So to do that, you just need to uh, follow our step-by-step -step tutorial starting from uh, this uh, step. Uh, so you can uh, download the Wikifab uh, extension and after you've made all the install, it will look like our wiki. So you will be able to have uh, a button here who will uh, help you uh, to create uh, tutorials or projects following our templates. Okay. And what about the explore, and contribute, feed, feedback and... Uh... Yeah, this you, you won't have it. Uh, I, I have documented it here on the Wikifab uh, GitHub repo. You will go to doc, documentation, and there is configuration notes. And uh -huh. here I explain how to update your logo to change the top menu links. Okay. And so you can change it. But if you install wow. everything, you will have uh, the templates and um, it will work. Very nice. Then you probably want to keep your, uh, your front page as it is to uh, display this information. So you don't have to... It's not because you install Wikifab on your uh, MediaWiki instance that you will uh, change your home page. You can, you can just get rid of this. By editing it, you can just remove our, this is, in fact, it's called Display Explore tutorial. So this thing is uh, what calls the Explore um, functionality, this functionality. Uh -huh. so, so if you remove everything here, I won't do it because I'm in production, but if I show it on my pre-production. So if I log in. And if I modify the home page to say, OK, my new home page, I will use the uh, regular yeah that's my uh, new home page okay so it's i just have uh, so i can put anything i want on this home page and then i can put any html code or any any wow. text to look at like the previous uh the okay. previous and what and about the bottom with all the black section there with all those sections that's fully editable yeah this is uh, a little bit more complicated to edit you need to go into the into the PHP files, but I have explained on this uh, on this documentation here how to change uh, the categories, and it explains how to edit the footers link. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And we will document also everything to change all of this. If you want to change this, this, and this, and this. Those are that's a PHP file that you change on the server. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that's not 100% under, under customizable now, but you can do it editing the... Show me, kind of the stuff. show me how you edit templates, create and edit templates. Yeah, oh, so, um, so basically to make Wikifab running, we are using uh, so templates, so I'll go on. And you do have Semantic Media Wiki extension running, so you've yeah, got... Yeah, Semantic Media Wiki helps us to make the templates. Yeah. And Wikifab X help us to have the style and the explore functionalities and some other stuff. So let's say I'd like yeah. to edit the, so the template. So templates are, I'll go in the English one. So let's say I'd like to edit. So the first thing. Is, uh, not 
check so if you go this is um, the form tutorial page this is how to create form how to create tutorials if you edit this page as, as, as a stops as an admin I can uh, edit it I'll see that I have um, I am calling templates to make uh, this um, it's a, I mean getting use of the of the semantic media wiki form is a little bit complicated. It's not very easy to explain like this, but okay. uh, I will try to make it uh, quick. So you need to, add, to modify your templates, and in each template you will call property. Uh, this is a property. It's a property called type. So I'm calling an other property called here called category. Its categories are called, are area. So. If I go to the template, the property area, I'll see the list of all the properties that I am calling into the form. So this is where you can edit it. So you have you have forms, you have property, and you have templates. So the forms are the semantic media wiki functionality. Templates are templates, and yeah. And the other, you said the the what the area like the area and others. What are those? Yeah, it, it, definitely. Yeah. So if I see how the tuto um, tuto uh, this template looks like, I see that I will I want this is my HTML co code uh, to uh -huh. tell the system where I would like the information to be displayed. So I want the information uh, description. Um, and uh -huh. say difficulty to be defined next to the difficulty uh, word. So if I look at the final templates, will be like this. So difficulty two points, and then I'm calling the difficulty field the difficulty property. And the difficulty property is uh, no difficulty difficulty the property difficulty. Sorry. It's just very easy, easy, medium, hard, and very hard. And this is what I'm calling uh -huh. in the tuto details. So all of this, it's a little bit complicated to understand how it works. But I can give you the link uh, to uh, learn how to do it. Um, if you follow uh -huh. this. So there's a template, there's a property, and yeah, what else? Templates, property, and forms. And form. You need to work with to make uh -huh. uh, semantic forms working. So wow. here, in this, on these pages, semantic forms, defining forms, you'll see how to make it work. So okay. it's quite a long and big documentation, but you can you can go for it. And of course, we can help you making it. So if you need to make some change, just ask us, and we will be able to, to help you. Very nice. That looks great. Um... Talk, let's talk for a second about your revenue model. Right now, you, are you getting supported by this yourself? Uh, what's how do you make a living today? Yeah, today we are um, we are supporting it by ourselves. We, are, we have a bit of uh, financial security for for one or two years in front of us, uh, but until that point, we need to find a revenue model. So. Our guidelines are to follow uh, the Wikipedia principles. Uh, the thing is, we want to keep it open source. We want all the knowledge to be free, and we don't want to make advertising in the platform. We really want to keep it um, free and entirely free. Our, our, our goal is to, at some point, maybe knock the door of the uh, Media Wiki Foundation and ask them. Uh, for financial support, maybe at some point we believe that we can really create the Wikipedia of makers. Uh, but to reach this goal, we need to uh, to, to stay uh, and to, to, to follow our principles. But so to do that, we will only ask for donations. So you have here a link: make a donation to help us support free free knowledge. Um, if we can't manage uh, to have enough donation, because it's Bit complicated to work only on donations. Um, 
then we will um, we want to sell uh, IT services around the software. So let's assume you are a private company. You need to document your um, your uh, technical process. You have engineers over the world, and you have like protected uh, data, protected knowledge that you want to have inside your company. Then you can use Wikifab openly. The source code is open. You can install it on your own server and do it. But maybe at some point the Wikifab software won't be enough. Maybe you need to in to integrate all of your um, spare part database or Whatever, whatever you need some this on Wikifab, then contact us and we will uh, develop for you a specific uh, extension that we will charge for. Yeah. So yeah. Is if we do that, we keep Wikifab completely open and we find the revenue model. Uh huh. And then they're gonna uh -huh. have their. And then they're gonna have their. Sorry, Echo. They're gonna have their proprietary extension that you that you develop for them that you and you get paid for, for that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, can you... Uh, sorry, I muted you. Can oh, you... Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. So, yeah, we will probably ask for a proprietary extension. We can ask them uh, what are our feelings about it and maybe give them uh, like a, a one-year exclusivity on this extension, uh, something like that. We, the case has, hasn't happened yet, <laughs> so okay. So we don't really know how we'll manage with this. Have you thought about, tell me about who is in the same space as you are. There's Revolver that I know of, there's maybe Dozuki, yeah. who else? Who are the players in the space? Um, that's the main one, uh, there, are, there is also Instructables. Instructables? Uh, both by Which is proprietary, yeah. it's a proprietary platform. Yep. Yeah, Autodesk, yeah. Uh, there, are, there is Dozuki who made a, a very nice work. Um, it's also a wiki, uh, it's not open source. Uh, Revolver is also working on it. We have also some French uh, some French other platform are doing it, but it's not a wiki. So we basically, we believe that uh, Wikifab is the only wiki open source uh, platform for open source other documentation. Uh, there is also... Um, uh, GitHub, which has been used uh, more and more into the, uh, the, the open source hardware movement. Um, but GitHub itself is not open source. Sorry? GitHub itself is not open source, the code for GitHub. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we don't we don't know any other open source platform as open as ours, except um, yeah, Wiki, but we are working with them and uh, we're part of the community now. So. Then clearly there's a collaborative advantage here. Okay, we should do something like I'd, I'd propose we. Uh, have you considered crowd crowdfunding? Yeah, we thought about it, but maybe it's too early for us. Uh, we we maybe it could be an idea. We we uh, we haven't done any crowdfunding ever before. We don't really know how to proceed. Uh, maybe we do you want to try that? I think I think we should try that. You want to? You guys want to collaborate on that? Yeah. That'll be good. We can build a team around that. We're getting serious about HR, human resources in our organization, so we can build a team around this. I think this is important. This is what we've wanted for a long time, and I think you guys have the answer. Jonathan? Yeah, completely. I mean, this is uh, Jonathan. Any, sorry, Jonathan. To, what you wish. Sorry, Jonathan is our community manager for Open Source Ecology, just, just for your reference. So he's a core player. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, absolutely. Uh, over a year ago, we were actually have been trying to solve this particular problem. We recognized the software, the platforms out there just not available. So, in terms of the searchability, the findability, the usability, and, and having an open source, uh, this doesn't exist. So, uh, the work you're doing is, is extremely significant, and uh, I, I believe that because you know it's very evident that you're doing in the work, which sets the precedent that there are other people. Who, uh, who share the same vision and values that we do. So, highly encouraging, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing the different ways we can support each other. Well said. Yeah, no, that's right. So I think you guys are meeting a very important need. I think if we can now work on... I mean, what you, How you explained it today was very clear. I liked it. And I think we can, if we can document that even more and create the state of art 
for open source documentation here. Lots of people talk about that, um, but to date, nothing like a... Well, just putting together the wiki, the wiki infrastructure with excellent templates, semantic. It's just just something that's needed, I think. Very simple, very powerful and flexible in a sense that um, you can use your templates or not. That's great. Yeah, so this is this is great. Um, I like it. So, um, where to go from here? I think what we sh might want to do is is get an install, probably update our wiki. I think we should probably explore how we uh, first update and then see if we can port all our data into it. So maybe do a, some kind of a staging area for that. How would you proceed if we if we have our current wiki? Wh what would you suggest in, in our case? I think I think we do just want to install it pretty much quickly because um, as long as I mean the critical feature for us is that having the ability to have blank pages which you can format as needed I mean as long as we have that then we can put anything that we already have on our wiki onto the, the new one go yeah. ahead so yeah it's to start it's pretty easy if you um, we can start the staging, a staging instance of your existing wiki and then, so we can work on it, and we can install all the media, all the Wikifab the templates, see how it works, make it uh, clear, and then we can just migrate to the to the new one when we are all satisfied of it. Yeah, yeah. Tell me more about your history. You, what's your history? Did you just graduate, or how long have you been working on it? I, I've been working for uh, seven years for a company called Recommerce. It's uh -huh. a company who buy back used mobile phones, we re, who repair them and resell them. Okay. And we were with Pierre, my my partner on Wikifile, which is not here, sorry. Um, we've been developing all the products, all the software products of the company. So I was more, uh, the, uh, I was a project, uh, the product uh, manager of all the tools that we developed, and Pierre was uh, IT architect. So um, I think Pierre is the best programmer I've never met before. So in, after one year of programming on this Wikifab, we were happy to launch it uh, three months ago only now. Yeah. Okay. So and do you... we were only two of us. I, I'm taking care of how the product should look like and how the UX interface uh, should be made to be very intuitive and Pierre is making it running. When you say IT architect, uh, so he has both programming skills and admin skills? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, he can. Yeah, it's. Uh, it would be uh, better to for him to talk about it. But yeah, he can uh, uh, think how the, the system should work, and he will think about all the little, the tiny details to make it uh, uh, um, a long on a long term development that will uh, uh, stand for a long time. So yeah, he will look about the back end and the front end at the same time. And uh, yeah, yeah, excellent. Uh, are you still working for the company, or you broke off? No, no we quit uh, three months ago. To do this full time. And we do this full time since three months. Yeah, yeah. So we have time to work on the project. So basically, from savings from that, you can work on it for a little bit before you run out of runway. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's 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 do this and let's see how we can get this. I, I'd really like to talk more about. I I see the role of OSE emerging as as an organization that helps other people find sustainable revenue models it's something we're struggling with ourselves uh, but we're, we're simply doing the physical production extreme manufacturing workshop model where we see that instead of using factories to produce goods we can bring that back into into regional economies so uh, this is very interesting I think we we want to provide that kind of support as far as how do people make a living with this open source hardware in the transition yeah, to the okay. open, the long-term goal of the open source economy. So, um, we're definitely interested this in this as a test case of collaboration and support, and seeing how we can make it work. I think there's huge potential in the crowdfunding aspect. Um, we just ran a successful Kickstarter and have continued that on Indiegogo in demand. So, okay. I think, yeah, the thing that we found out about that was the incredible community building aspect of it. It's not just the money, but it's it's uh, you gotta really see it to believe it, but it's really really amazing because we picked up a a few several key subject matter experts throughout that process, like some of the best compressed earth block people, other business advisors, 
uh, people who are helping us in other areas. So that kind of opportunity is great. And I think, yeah, just raising a little more awareness, top grading is, I mean, you guys, uh, good, S sounds like you got a great team already, a small team. Uh, your founding team is awesome. And yeah, let's see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we should coordinate how we go from here. Jonathan, what would you say? Jonathan, can you pipe in on what our next steps would be? Right. I mean, the uh, main thing is being able to, I mean, the actual release is, is stable, correct? I mean, you guys are using it. Uh, sorry, say again? It is the, is the uh, software that has been released three months, months ago. It, how many people are using it right now? Um... I can count, I think, five instances. Uh, there are five different uh, wiki, wiki fab based uh, websites. Nice. There is, there is the, the most promising one is called the Lotech Lab. It's a um, French initiative of people uh, traveling around the world on a boat to uh, uh, look for uh, low cost um, products. And they want to, they are, they already, I can, yeah, I'll share the link in the video later, but it's called Lotech Lab and it's, uh, already uh, running, and uh, there is also someone uh, uh, in Germany, and uh, yeah, few few pro few labs are asking us to, to really launch their own. Oh wow! Uh, which is having sense. Low Tech Lab is the French French entity, and they they share everything open source. Yeah. That looks pretty interesting. Are are you guys friends with yeah, them? I can, I can yeah, we, I can share the link with you. So. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, lowtechlab.org. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, have so, a few we have a few workshops coming up, and, and in terms of documentation, uh, that would be ideal. So we, we have a workshop at the end of the month and then also in November. So, yeah. Um, so those are some things that, in terms of what we need, our immediate needs is to, one, uh, be able to get a stable platform up, and, and then, of course, uh, start are practicing with it uh, from a support side is there a lot of documentation in terms of community wise or I mean I, I understand it's only in three months but uh, I think that's one of the things that we'll probably need to uh, arrange uh, for any questions if you have time uh, so that we can get this up and going uh, so as far as the steps the, the hardware requirements uh, in terms of the server side what what uh, some of your requirements for that yeah, um, I don't really. I'm not really aware of uh, what are the best uh, software uh, other requirements, but yeah, I can answer you. Yeah, uh, yeah, we can figure that out. I think can, we can probably run we this. Can also add yeah, to, go to, ahead. To your code, if you need some uh, help for installation, we can we can really help you. And uh, also, if you need to make some change into the forms, we can help you too. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a uh, any community built ar around it? Like, for example. Would you guys be able to support us in doing a real-time documentation sprint during the brick press build? We have a one-day workshop. Uh, if I want to... Have you seen... Oh, wow. Sorry. And we really uh, love what you're doing, guys. So we really want to, to be part of it. And uh, that really makes sense to us to spend time on your wiki and uh, listening to your demand and work for you uh, on this uh, on this project. Yeah. Just to what, tell you, on the, you on the workshop scene, we have a one-day extreme build of the brick press coming up on September 23. That's we're ready for. And... What we would like to do is practice one of the elements we've developed, and that is the ability to do real-time instructionals as the event is happening. So possibly we can try the wiki as an extent as a way to do that. Maybe would you guys be interested in helping us organize that? Um, basically, where there's an, a number of we can call together a number of remote people. So if we have the wiki. In place, do you think the wiki would be a, 
sufficient to do real-time documentation because what we typically did was work in a live editable document like Google Docs because people can see changes real-time and that's how uh, well actually the last time we did that we used Dozuki we we did the instructional real-time on Dozuki so that, that's how we did it last time but I think we can we can converge to this Wikifab at this point what are your comments on if there are multiple people editing that? I mean, there's conflicts there, right? So, so we'd have to come up with a strategy where maybe uh, different people are editing different parts of the um, different pages because we're do we're doing a modular build where everything goes in parallel. So we can have several people working remotely and on the documentation as we upload pictures um, to that. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Maybe if we can work out a yeah, we've, we've thought about um, the real-time documentation uh, issue, uh, uh -huh. and we really want to address it, but uh, it's not uh, on top of our, uh, uh, of our backlog. It's, uh, it's a bit uh, complex to develop, but yeah. we will do it uh, at some point. Uh -huh. um, so right now, we didn't face uh, this problem uh, before, because we usually, it's more like uh, uh, Individuals with documents, so they don't need real time uh, a, a real time documentation tool. But uh, that's something we will do definitely. So right now, if you want to do it uh, in the next uh, weeks, uh, I would suggest to use uh, yeah, another tool, maybe Google Doc, and then uh, copy at the end of the day, just copy past uh, the content into Wikifab. Mm -hmm. uh, because in fact, you're right. If people are working together in the same time, you might have some some issues. Yeah. But we can we, see the we can address that issue by doing n a number of pages in parallel. So say there's there's like twelve yeah. modules. We can set up twelve pages, and we can have people each team work on a certain page. That actually would be quite interesting, um, and maybe that's even a decent way to do it. As far as um, what's your roadmap looking like for right now? What's can you tell me like the next year or two or three? Yeah, um, we are working on. Um, let me check. So the main, the most important things to us is now to start, try to make it um, uh, viral. So we are working on some uh, features uh, of collaborating. Like if you you can you will be able, you will soon be able to follow someone and get a notification when this guy make a modification. Um, uh -huh. Stuff like that. You can invite new friends, and you will get a badge, a badge if you uh, when you invite people and stuff like that. Which is not very interesting in terms of documentation tool, but it makes the community grow. Yeah. Um, then the, the, the other thing we're working on is, and it's very important. Um, it's a, a, gr a group functionality uh, for um, for. Or project like like open source ecology to gather all the tutorials that has been made in between its members into one pages. Um, so that's something very important. Also, the Fab Labs are asking for this this functionality. They want to have all of their um, users uh, project uh, on the same page. Uh, how's that different uh, from what you have right now? Because right now you have the ability to put on a bunch of projects on the same one page. What's what do you mean by that? Um, Can you explain? Because right, because showcasing right. projects is what your platform does. So we can showcase, for example, I mean, just all the projects. So what's what's new? What what new functionality are you uh, talking about? It, uh, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you again. Do you have a roadmap document that you can share? Uh, yeah, it's I mean it's not that well documented, but we will we will uh, create a wiki of all our documentation. Right now, if you go to feedback.wikifab.org, you will reach our uh, forums, and there are a topic called Tech Teams Backlog of In Development Features, and you'll see all the features that we are working on. Those are not. Uh, not really uh, prioritized, but a little bit. 
So yeah, multilingual is also very important. So because right now we have two websites. We have the French one, which is on beta.wikipedia.org, and we have the English one, which is on en.wikipedia.org. And these those are two different wikis. So you will find tutorials on the English uh, version, which are not on the French uh, site, and and the other way around. So uh, it's a bit of a problem because right now we have like maybe 100 tutorials on the English Wikipedia and 200 on the French Wikipedia, and we would like to uh, combine both of them. So yeah. we are working on a multilingual uh, in order to have only one Wikipedia, and people will be able to translate each tutorial. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's something to work on. As far as the uh, real-time documentation, when do you expect? How many years into the future would that be? The real-time one. It, it would depend. In fact, in, if uh, you open source ecology uh, uh, really want to get into it, and if you really, really want to develop everything into into files and we see that there are lots of uh, people working on, then we we consider your demand as more important as the other one. We really listen to to the to the community. So if many people ask us to okay. have this real time functionality, we will more uh, okay. uh, look at it uh, with yeah. bigger priority. Yeah. I would say in, in, in less than, I mean, uh, one year maximum it would be, should be available. Okay, okay. So let's uh, pursue, I have to go to another meeting, but let's pursue getting the wiki installed. Uh, so I'll organize that with you. I'll coordinate that with you, Clement. All right? Yeah. Uh, by email, I'll okay. get get our guy. So Tom, Tom does our work here on the back end. We'll, we'll get a okay. meeting together. So you're available. In the next few days or next week, you, your schedule is decent. Yeah, next, week, next week I will definitely be available. This weekend I am off, sorry. Yeah. Uh, but uh, from Monday you can, uh, or you can even um, email me this weekend, and I will uh, reply on Monday morning. Okay. And then and, uh, we can work on this. Uh, no problem. Excellent. Well, this is great. So I really like it. Let's pursue this aggressively, and let's make it happen. So we'll yeah, talk definitely. soon. We'll talk soon and we'll follow up on installing this and using this for real-time documentation on the September 23rd build. Let's do it. Okay. Thanks Thank so much. You. Take care. Have a great meeting. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Take care.